Ooh, and welcome. It's me, Miles44, and I'm back with another card from Vanguard. Crayon line, deck profile. Today's deck profile. We have the, uh, dragon that is very, very holy to liberators. I really don't know. <laughs> um, but yeah, so, liberator, holy shine dragon. So, with the release of BT15, um, this card is out, and then I'm pretty sure you guys are kind of wondering... You're making a deck profile with this card? Uh, it's not a great card. Um, there are a lot, a lot of better boss cards that you can make decks off of. But this is actually a deck um, my cousin tried out, Jehef Ninja Thunder. And I beefed it up a little bit and such um, to make it more competitive worthy. But it's not a great deck, but you know what? It's more of a for fun deck. If you just want to mess around, screw with your opponent, do all that stuff. Um, you play this. You play these kind of decks sometimes. You know, like Amante Rasu. You play decks that aren't really overly meta, but you know, you just have fun with. And um, that's kind of what this deck is. Um, so yeah, actually a pretty strong deck. Um, it has quite a lot of pressure. Quite a lot of. Um, it has quite a lot of pluses too. You know that normal liberator thing. Um, not as it's it's more of a build up though. Um, other than you know. A one or two turn thing um but yeah so let's just jump right into the deck profile so our starter is uh spring breeze messenger now i've been testing this deck out quite a bit and such uh i've tested it out and such um and i found spring breeze messenger worked the best just because of the fact that it uh it's also what my cousin used to and uh really i mean you could play uh, the Great Three Searcher, but, um, to, you know, help you get your Gantz lot to start off. Uh, but I prefer the Spring Breeze Messenger, because it just gives you that plus. Um, you can kind of look at the top three, choose whichever card you want or you need or something, and just get you that plus, so, um, not really a plus, more of a tutor, but, um, it just helps set up your field. Uh, you can get a plus off of it, you can have a card that can deal loads amount of pressure later on in the game. Um, or any time in the game when you superior call like Bruno, uh, or you could have a beater or something. Um, so yeah, that's it's just helpful um, for getting your cards, basically. Um, nothing really better to play. That's that's essentially what it is. And then we have four Liberator Holy Shine Dragon. Now, if you don't know what he what if he do, what he does, uh, it, Limit Break four. At the end of your turn, you choose a Grade three. Go Paladin from your soul, and you may ride it. And if you do, you choose a card named Liberator Holy Shine Dragon from your soul and put it in your hand. Um, and then its other skill is Counterblast one card with Liberator in its card name. And when this unit is placed on Vanguard Circle, you may pay the cost. And if you do, look at the top card of your deck, search for up to one Go Paladin, call it to a Rearguard Circle, and put the rest on the bottom of the deck. Um, so yeah, it's a... Oh, sorry. I accidentally stepped on my headset cord. Um, it's not a bad card. Um, I mean, there are, as I said, there are a lot of better cards. But it has a nice little combo with Gancelot where... Um, because uh, I might as well just show you. My other grade 3 is 4 Solitary Liberator Gancelot. Um, so 4 Liberator Holy Shine Dragon, 4 Gancelot. Um, and the combo essentially is... Uh, once you hit limit break, um, you just break ride him. You counter uh, you know, five thousand to three units, three rear guards, and he gets ten. Uh, you counter blast a superior call something, and that's another thing that actually combos nicely with it. You can use the counter blast uh, first because they both activate when you ride. Uh, so you can use the counter blast first if you only have two rear guards. Um, the superior call something, and then three units will still get plus five. Uh, so it keeps keeps that pressure up, so that's pretty ha handy. Um, and then at the end of the turn, you can rewrite Gancelot and then just put him back in your hand and repeat the process. It's just basically a repetitive process of you ride Holy Shine and you just keep rewriting Gancelot and break ride pressure continuously with the you know the pluses from him. Um, and it's actually not too bad. Um, it was a neat little trick my cousin found out and. Um, yeah, so credits to him for that, um, Jeff Huff Ninja Thunder. Um, but, um, yeah, Holy Shine Dragon, a uh, nice little combo with Gancelot. As I said, you know, more of a fun thing, it's not really meta, but, um, 
it's still really fun to just play it because cause you screw with your opponent and it's just so much fun. Most people will think you're playing Zenith. So, um, but yeah, on to our grade twos. So we have four Liberator of Royal Royalty Falon. So four 12k beaters, very central. Nothing else said. Um, and then we have four Liberator of the Flute Escrad. So with the Holy Shine being late game, uh, because you're gonna keep it as Ganslot pretty much the entire game until you, uh, until you get your break ride. Um, so with the pluses only being on the pluses only on Spring Breeze Messenger, uh, Escrad helps to that, and that's why I wa that's why you have to play four because you can just use Spring Breeze and Escrad early on in the game to just get your pluses, and you might get out of the pluses thanks to it with uh, one of the grade ones we're playing, but. Um, this deck builds up a huge hand, basically. Uh, it's it's its primary goal is build up a hand on top of the fact where the break ride pressure continues every turn. So it's kind of a a little bit of a troll deck, I guess you could say, because it it's more of a for fun deck. But um, either or, it actually works out pretty nicely. Um, but yeah, so Escrad just helps you get pluses uh, early on and just pressure for pluses too. Um, to kind of weaken down their hand for Gantz a lot later. Um, and then we also have three Liberator of Silence, Galatine. Now, I was thinking of playing Blaster Blade Liberator, but in this deck, I really don't want to get rushed, especially with the huge hand I want to have later on, too, and the amount of pressure I want to bring. Um, and I think Galatine as a 10k beater is nice. Uh, you can leave columns open, too, to utilize the Counter Blast 1 Superior Call with Holy Shine Dragon, which I think also helps, because um, it just gets you more pluses uh, later on in the game, and it lets you utilize Escrad a little better too, so I prefer it over Blaster Blade Liberator. Um, I mean, I could just play Blaster Blade Liberator, but th that means I'd be playing him just for the sole purpose of nothing, except for Counter Blast to retire something. So I'd rather play Galatine just to get my plus, uh, just to, it, it helps easier, it helps uh, the deck get pluses a little bit easier and it helps the deck not get rushed because uh, you could just have him in a column alone just swinging at rear guards or something uh, um, and you know you have an empty column behind him and then you have a Fallon on the other side and there's an empty column behind him uh, I mean there's nothing behind him either so that's that's two pluses I mean normally yeah um, but yeah so it's really really nice just in that factor of um, he keeps the field a little bit open for later for Holy Shine Dragon. That's that's basically what I'm trying to say. Um, and he helps you not get pressured. Uh, on to our grade ones now. Um, one Sword Formation Liberator in Egrain. So one Quintet Wall and then three Halo Liberator Mark. So um, still play the one Quintet Wall just because, you know, Quintet Walls are always, always helpful. Um, most of the time, at least. Um, I have been thinking of taking it out in this deck because I kind of feel like it's dead. So uh, just note that down. If you think the hand gets too big, just play four mar uh, mark, uh, Halo Liberator mark. Um, that's, that's, of course, your option. Um, but yeah, you could change it up if you want. And um, but yeah, green I just find helpful because sometimes, you know, maybe you don't draw into Holy Shine. Um, early enough and you might get too pressured and stuff so a grain can kind of save you because you won't have a giant hand uh, at that point um, so I, I find the grain still helpful uh, I think I think it is more appropriate still to play the one um, and then we have four curved blade liberator Josephus so the soul blast one draw uh, soul blast liberator draw a card um, and he's really really handy because um, you get to use Spring Breeze with him. You can search him out with Spring Breeze. You can get him when you use Excrad. You can also get him when you use um, Holy Shine. And for how much pressure you're dealing on your opponent, your opponent doesn't want you getting more pluses. And that's what this adds. This adds more pluses, and it's just it's just beautiful for the deck. You can't you cannot play less than four of these. You cannot. <laughs> it's just awesome for the deck, and it helps keep it more consistent too. Um, and uh yeah so uh moving on we have three 
May Raiden Liberator Bruno. Um, I was I wanted to play four of him, but you know what? I knocked him down to three. Um, he's pretty handy because on the turn you break ride, you know you can kind of blast one spirit call something. Okay, he's 10k. Three other units get a plus 5k. So the there's only going to be one unit, and the Vanguard gets 10. So there's going to be one unit that won't be powered up. And normally I choose the one behind my Vanguard that doesn't get powered up. Um, but uh, yeah, it makes Bruno quite quite a threat. Um, and he's very, very good, even even if he gets called to, um, sorry, not if he gets called, uh, even if you do have two of them out on the field, it's not bad either, I mean, they're 10Ks, um, but I definitely prefer the Ford Josephus over uh, the Bruno because of how much pressure the brake ride already brings. Um, it's better that you get the pluses instead of the a little more pressure, but Bruno is still really, really handy for just extra added pressure early game pressure maybe from spring breeze or a scrat if you get them early on and he's behind a fallon or something you could swing for 22 or you, he's even behind um another s scrat and you could swing for 19 you get maybe another plus <laughs> so you know it's it's still still a strong card always going to be a strong card for liberators um and then we have three sharp point liberator gold lancer um so this is the card uh, to search out Gans a lot. Um, I was trying to pick this. I was trying to choose between this and Marin, and if I was going to choose Marin, I would have four Bruno and two Marin. Um, but I chose this because I looked at it and it's like this deck cannot be consistent without Gans a lot. This deck is complete crap without Gans a lot, um, and that's why it's more for fun deck. Um, it won't be as good, and it will really just kind of fall. Um, so he's your Gancelot, search you, drop a grade 3, search for a Gancelot uh, when it's called to rear guard, this card. Um, so I play three of him just because it helps keep the deck really, really consistent. I could play Kron as well for the starter, um, but I felt that was too much uh, when I was playing and testing the deck, so three of him is fine. Um, <clears throat> sorry about that, my voice just decided to mess up on me. But yeah, so... Three of him is just beautiful and helps you, you know, keep up the consistency of Gancelot and um, starting off with Gancelot and then, you know, going to Holy Shine. And you can even just drop a Gancelot so you don't run into like a grade three, but another, uh, too many grade threes. But, you know, that 11k is pretty handy if Bruno's behind him, right? <laughs> um, but yeah, so he just helps keep the deck really consistent. That's, that's all it is. It's, it's, he's like... He's the card that helps keep the deck consistent, so he has to be played as well. Um, and that's kind of why my lineup's like this. Um, it's a really good lineup, though. Really solid deck, uh, as I said before. And on to our triggers. So four, Liberator of Hope, Epona. Four, Strike Liberator, so eight crit. Uh, four, Armament Liberator, Gwydion, four draw. And four, Elixir Liberator, four heal. So, you know, yeah, standard trigger lineup. <laughs> Fortunately, cannot play 12 crit, but I'd rather not, especially with having to have to get Gancelot to be, uh, you know, consistent with this deck. So, anyways, uh, thank you guys for joining me in this deck profile. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Very, very, very fun deck to just play. Um, not really, as I said, competitive, but it's just a fun deck to play and just be like, you think I have Zenith? You're hilarious. Ride Holy Shine. What? <laughs> and then spam the Gancelot brick ride. They were not prepared for that one. <laughs> um, but yeah, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the deck profile. Of course, as always, the deck list will be in the description below. Uh, and so, and remember to like and comment and go ahead and subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. Uh, my Twitter, Skype, and Facebook will all be in the description below as well. So you can go and check those out. And I'll see you guys next time.